I was checking for paying attention. <laughs> okay, so if there's a mutation in the transcription factor, then can it impact transcription of this gene? So, so that you guys know, this is the Nivea gene, and then we can call this gene like the, I don't know, palm olive gene, whatever. So this protein is not encoded by this gene, it's encoded by some other gene. And its function in the cell is to serve as a trans transcription factor to the transcription of this gene. So this is some gene that encodes the shell synthase. This, this protein here came from some other gene. So if I have a mutation on that gene, then can it impact the transcription of this gene? And you guys, most of you said yes. And the, the answer is yes, it can. Will it? I don't know. Uh, it really it depends on the mutation. It depends on the gene, but it can. So I'm trying to stress here that, that the phenotype we see is not only given by the sequence of the gene that encodes that protein that conditions that phenotype. So in this case, that enzyme that conditions how much pigment gets made or a mutation in, in uh, how much that gene gets transcribed. So it could be that the gene is the wild type one that's functional, but if you don't make a lot of copies, then you won't make a lot of, of pigment. So here is uh, just a theoretical one. You have the, the Nivea, the functional uh, allele for that gene. Here's our promoter. I like, I got rid of the TEM3 here. And so this promoter attracts transcription factors. But if you have a mutation, okay, I made, I made a mutation in this other transcription factor, then that can't, see, can't, that little thing saying, that does not happen. So if it doesn't happen or it doesn't happen efficiently, transcription of this gene gets decreased.